हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल राही नॉलेज सो टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट मैंस्ट्रोल साइकिल बिफोर वी स्टार्ट फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न दैट व्हाट इज मैंस्ट्रोल साइकिल सो मैंस्ट्रोल साइकिल इज अ सीरीज ऑफ इवेंट्स अकरिंग रेगुलरली इन फीमेल्स एवरी ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू थर्टी डेज थ्रू आउट चाइल्ड बियरिंग पीरियड इट इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्विंग रिप्रोडक्टिव एंड एंड्रोकाइन सिस्टम द साइकिल कंजिस्ट ऑफ सीरीज ऑफ चेंजेस टेकिंग प्लेस इन ओवरीज एंड यूट्राइन वॉल्स हॉर्मोन सिक्रिटेड इन द साइकिल आर रेगुलेटेड बाय नेगेटिव फीडबैक मेकेनिजम्स टू गोनाडोट्रॉपिक हॉर्मोन्स आर रिलीज फ्रॉम हाइपोथेलमस बाय पिचिटरी ग्लैंड In that first one is follicle stimulating hormone and second one is luteinizing hormones so follicle stimulating hormones is primarily responsible for stimulating the ovaries to secrete estrogen and what luteinizing hormones do it is primarily responsible for stimulating progesterone production the hypothalamus respond to changes in the blood levels of estrogen and progesterone okay now we will see that what is the importance of estrogen and progesterone in our body estrogens play an important role in breast development and monthly cyclic changes in the uterus and what progesterones do it helps in regulating the changes that occur in uterus during menstrual cycle progesterone is secreted by the corpus luteum or ovarian follicle after the ovum has been released progesterone is a important hormone for the endometrium in the preparation for implantation of fertilized ovum here are some hormonal changes described in this figure okay now we will see menstrual cycle according to their phases The menstrual cycle is typically 28 days in length but there are normal variations seen. So this cycle is divided into three phases: menstrual phase, proliferative phase and secretory phase. Menstrual phase which usually lasts about 4 days. Proliferative phase lasts about 10 days and then by secretory phase about 14 days. Now we will learn about first phase menstrual phase when the ovum is not fertilized the corpus luteum starts to degenerate progesterone and estrogen levels therefore fall and ovum disintegrates and endometrium which has become thick and congested become hemorrhagic menstrual flow consisting of old blood mucus and endometrial tissue is discharged through cervix into vagina and if ovum is fertilized estrogen and progesterone levels remain high and the complex hormonal changes of pregnancy follow now we will learn about the second phase proliferative phase in this phase follicle stimulating hormone output increases and estrogen secretion is stimulated this causes the endometrium to thicken and become more vascular this phase ends when ovulation occurs and estrogen production by follicle declines now we will learn about the third phase secretory phase immediately after ovulation the cells lining and the ovarian follicle are stimulated by luteinizing hormone and develop into corpus luteum it will produce progesterone and estrogen under the influence of progesterone the endometrium become thick and highly vascular and reaches the peak luteal phase in luteal phase after ovulation progesterone is secreted by the corpus luteum if the ovum is not fertilized menstruation occurs and a new cycle begins and if the ovum is fertilized there is no breakdown of the endometrium and no menstruation occur so friends we learned about the menstrual cycle in this video i hope this informations are helpful to you so if you want more videos like this then suggest in comment section and thank you for watching my video